to another class and we are going to look at uh, questions involving the LCM and GCG and uh, we have got to look at the examples and uh, we have two of them on the board and the example one, our first question reads that the GCG of two numbers is 12 and the LCM is 240 if one of the number is 60, find the other number so whenever you are given two numbers like uh, in this case we have a formula to find the other number that is uh, given by so uh, the number that uh, you need to get to go to given by the LCM times GCD divided by the number uh, given and this one only occur this formula can only use when you have two numbers like in our case here so uh, our LCM we been told that uh, is equal to 240 and the GCD we have been given as 12 and the number given there is 60 then we substitute that so you can simplify then uh, you find the end there and then by 61 by 62 24 times 2 we are going to get 48 so that is the, the, the second number that uh, you are required to get uh, the other number so the LCM and GCD of the two numbers, the two numbers is 60 and 48. So let's look at uh, example 2. We have been told that uh, the GCD of uh, three numbers is 30 and the LCM is 900. Uh, two of the numbers are 60 and uh, 150. What are the other possible numbers? This question is required to get more than one answer there uh, you need to have more than, uh, than one number so in this kind of a question we are going to write these numbers in terms of the product of the prime factor uh, we can start with the GCD GCD when we touch is 30 then LCM we have been given as 900 then the two numbers uh, we have the first one is uh, 60 and then the second number is 150 then our x and another number that we could find we could find them there so uh, we are going to have it like this for the GCD 30, in terms of prime factor, that is 2 times um, 3 times 5, that is uh, 30. Then 900 is 2 squared times 3 squared times 5 squared. Then uh, uh, 60 of course is that times 2 so it's going to be now 2 squared times 3 times 5 and uh, 150 is going to be um, 2 times 3 times 5 squared now we are going to compare the numbers at the values here for you for us to, to be able to uh, get the other values or the other possible numbers that can fit uh, in our question here so uh, how we, we know how to get the LCM and the GCD using the prime factor method and that is the one that you're going to use that knowledge of getting the LCM and the GCD using the prime factor method to be able to answer this kind of a question we know that for the GCD we shall look for the, that, that number has to uh, appear in all of those numbers and then we take the one that has the smallest uh, power. And then for the um, LCM, the number does not have to appear in all of them, but uh, just as, as long as it is appearing in one of the numbers, then it's going to appear in the LCM. And if it is appearing in all of them, then we have to get and we have to take the number which has the highest power. So having that, uh, we just compare now. Uh, for our third number, using now the uh, the else 
the GCP, it must have a uh, two. It must have two. Because uh, in our case, for the GCP to, to be there, we should be having two in all of those numbers. Then it can either be two. Uh, when you look at our numbers, we have two power two, meaning for us here we took the highest power that we can have of two, it is two power two, uh, because the uh, that is what we have in the LCM. So our number can be having either two or it can be even two power two. Reason being for 150, it is just two power one. Uh, so in our number, it can be either two or two power two. So we are doing with two. We go to three. When we go to three, uh, you can see that as our GCD has three power one, the same as 3 power 2. The number that we have, both of them are 3 power 1. Meaning that our number that we want to get, it must have 3 power 2. Because where did it come from? It must have that it come from the that number. So uh, in our combination here, it, can either, it should have a 3 squared. Okay. It should have a 3 squared. Then, uh, we look at the other number, which is 5. 5 is appearing in the uh, GCD, meaning that our number must have a 5. Then, in our number that will be given here, 1 is 5 for 1 and 1 is 5 for 2. And our LCM is 5 for 2, meaning this one can come from the second, uh, this number or even the other number. And then for 5 power 1 can be from this or other number. Meaning that uh, now for the, um, uh, the other number, it can either be 5 power 1 or 5 power 2 because of uh, these two. So this can be either be, if you took the first case there, you can have those two. And if you took this other two cases, you can have times 5 power 1 or times 5 power 2. So in this case, uh, we are going to be having four numbers the uh, two times uh, this square times five and then two times this square times five squared uh, then for this case we are going to be having two square times three square times five or two squared times three square times five squared and uh, for two uh, times this square this square is uh, nine uh, then 5 times 2 is 10, so that is going to be 90. And then uh, uh, 5 squared is going to be 25 times 250, times 9 is going to be uh, 450. So those are two uh, set of numbers. And, and then uh, when we come to the second scenario here, we can have uh, 2 squared, which is 4, times uh, uh, the least squared, which is 9. Uh, times 5. So four, 5 times 4, we get 20 times 9, 180. And then 2 squared times this squared times 5 squared, which in this case is going to be similar by like ILCM, which is 9, 100. So in this case, we have uh, four combinations of numbers that uh, can fit a uh, question. Meaning now, uh, the numbers that we should have. Uh, that's going to give us the LCM as 900 GCD uh, 30 and then the two numbers being 650. The other number there, X, can be either be 90, it can either be uh, 90 or 180 or uh, 450 or even uh, 900. So either of these four numbers there is going to fit uh, in our question. That's how you can be able to get uh, those values and the answer that fit our question. So let's to, uh, look at our example three and it reads that the GCD of 6,580, uh, 7,200 and the third number is 144. The LCM of the three numbers is 2, Power 5 times 3 power 5 times 5 power 2 times 7 cubed. So find the smallest bad number. So we do the same as uh, in our previous case. 
but this case in this uh, question we just require the smallest that number so we have uh, the GCD uh, which is 144 we have the LCM which is um, given in the power form uh, so we are going to write it here uh, 144 uh, in uh, factor form is 2 power 4 uh, times 3 squared then the LCM you have given as 2 power 5 times 3 power 5 times 5 squared times 7 cubed then our numbers we have the first one is uh, 6480 and the second one is 7200 so that's the same now the, the two numbers in power form so for uh, 6480 is going to be 2 power 4 times 3 power 4 times 5 that is uh, the 6480 then for 7200 we're going to be having as uh, 2 power 5 times 3 squared times 5 uh, squared so this is uh, the uh, two uh, numbers in power form. Now we want to find uh, the smallest number that uh, when we have the three of them, I'm going to give us the GCD as 144 and the LCM as that number there. So we just uh, going to compare the powers here. Uh, we know that uh, for us to be able to get the LCM uh, of a set of numbers, uh, we look for that number that has the highest power. So, uh, and for the GCD, we look at the number that is uh, appearing in all of them and we take the smallest power. So we are going to have that two uh, concepts to be able to solve this kind of equation. Now, uh, when we look at our GCD, uh, it has 2 power 4, meaning that uh, the lowest power of 2 can be only be 4. And in our case, we have uh, the 64 it being 2 power 4 and uh, the 7200 it is 2 power 5 meaning that uh, for our x to be the smallest one now we are going to take for the 2 power 4 the least we can be able to get in that scenario otherwise we cannot be able to take anything that is uh, we cannot take 2 power 5 because in that case is going to give us not a, a, a larger number not the smallest number then uh, we look at our three. Uh, our LCM has the power five. Our GCD has the power two. And when we look at our two numbers here, uh, the, uh, LS, the the the, LS, the uh, this number has the power two, which is our GCD there. And uh, this number here has the power four. But uh, the LCM has the power 5. So, where did this three power 5 come from? This one automatically came from that number. So, uh, x should be having the power 5. We look at uh, 5. Uh, our GCD does not have 5. And uh, we have uh, this two numbers one has 5 and the other one has 5 squared. And our LCM half a squared, meaning the first squared is catered in that LCM. So our number does not have, should not have five because if in any case it has a five, that five should appear in our GCD. So we look at seven cubed. Uh, the two numbers provided do not have seven cubed in here, and even our uh, GCD, meaning that this seven cubed must have come from the that number. So this is our smallest uh, that number that we are able to have in that pressure. So